wiring of the Salus IT 800 RF receiver. It's quite simple. We have two screws at the base. So you undo, lift off the front cover, and in here you will see a live terminal, a neutral terminal for your 240 volt input, and you'll also see a common and a normally open terminal. Now, if you're on an S Plan system or a system boiler that switches on a 240 volt switch, you can link live to the common and then send the normally open out back to your switch live on the boiler. If you are zero volt switching on a combi boiler, for instance, you would not have this link. You would simply have a terminal on your boiler saying out and in, and your out from the boiler would go to common, and your in to the boiler would come from normally open. That is simple as that, four wires, nice and easy. And then once you've done that, two clips at the top, and it clips back in place. And you can do up the two screws at the bottom. And as you can see, the green light flashing, and then it would automatically be paired with the thermostat out of the box. Should the pairing not be there, we'll now go through the process of repairing the thermostat with the receiver to use as an RF thermostat. The receiver and the thermostat come prepared out of the box, so there should not be a need to pair either of them. Should the pairing ever be lost, simple procedure to repair the thermostat to the receiver is to press the button on the left hand side at the bottom of the receiver with a sharp object, press that in for three seconds and the bottom light you'll see now starts to flash. On the thermostat, hold the top button down for three seconds and a menu will appear and you turn the dial until you reach FR, which is for factory reset. Select button again. Now your options are yes or no. Turning the dial, select yes. Press the button again. And this will now initiate a factory reset. The Wi-Fi symbol will flash on the thermostat. The light that will flash on the receiver. Once the Wi-Fi light has stopped flashing, go back to the receiver and once again press the button in for three seconds and let go. You'll now notice that the receiver light has gone green, the Wi-Fi light is steady and there you are repaired. And just to confirm that is repaired, we shall turn the target temperature up, press the select button, and there you go. You'll notice the red light comes on, which is a demand for heat. And then likewise, if we turn it down below the current temperature, you can also wait five seconds or press the button. Wait in five seconds and automatically switch. The next video we will connect the receiver to the app to enable the heating to be controlled via the internet through the Salus app. This is That Statman. Like, subscribe and follow if you like what you see. Um, future videos coming up.